Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here, and we have returned back to our lovely adventures of Faust of Time. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, if not, then this let's play is going to be quite embarrassing in terms of these introductions, but hey ho, we shall go forward as if we know what we're doing here. Except, I'm not, because this is a total mystery in itself. And that's what Let's Play is supposed to be about for me, is that each game is supposed to bring about a new set of challenges. New set of challenges as in discovering the story, discovering the puzzles, discovering endings, discovering this and that. So we've got ourselves a mannequin to avoid. I can go faster than it by just simply walking. Nothing in there, but I've still got to keep my distance. Hope you go over there, thank you. Okay, now I'm over here. Was there anything? Yeah, there's no door because that so suddenly just disappeared. Go over here. And literally there is absolutely nothing. Aside some rats in here. So let's look at what we've got so far. We've got a ragdoll, a few strands of thin metal wire, a sweet piece of chocolate candy, eating it with confirmal energy, a match more things can be seen when it's lit, and a fish eye which I still haven't found anywhere that may resemble a place where it would go. So that's locked, so we can't go back in there. That's all good. So this is going to take a bit of time to explore around because I do want to conserve these chocolate pieces for when we actually need to run away. I just think that is an absolute necessity in any survival situation where you go for the patient run of going through the game not using any items that allows you to boost through Oh, there's a set of eyes there and hope for the best that nothing will really happen Am Ambious Umbus hmm. Okay, so let's get through these Chocolate one and Matches one Good, more for our inventory Although the only thing that I I'm a little um, concerned about is the quantity of items which we have here because it doesn't label how many of it we've got it just labels them here so you, you wouldn't know if the inventory is gone or you have still got a few more inventory of the item itself okay so come find me um, I would prefer not to find you unless it is a necessity to the story. Necessities to the story is vital towards the progression of it. So we was here beforehand. Funny enough. Nothing there. Reflection on my face and a stern expression. Yeah, despite there being an update to this game, those square brackets still appear there. So I'm not sure if it's something to do with the font itself, because it was, literally was the only font that came with the game, me likey. And that was in one of the um, updates with this game on Steam. It's all good to see and hear and do and dwell. Chocolate, all good. So when we originally played the game, we just transferred instantly from the bedroom to the stairway on the bottom floor, which is kind of... Well, I was going to say kind of odd, but we did tra tra traverse through a few different scenarios. Matches one. Um, we may need to use the matches in case of there are things which you can't see normally within the darkness. That area on the left, that's certainly the start. The start is the other side of the end. Go through here and see if there's anything. Yeah, it was locked. So, have we got any keys? N-O, that would mean no, no keys for us. Avoid the rats because they are scattered about the place. I believe I've already been bitten twice in the previous episode of this game. Got matches, that's all good. Collect as much as we can, collect as much as we are able to. Locked, that's fine. The sleepless earth. You know why it's sleepless? Because there's always the sun beaming on a part of the earth which is kind of good in itself opening hours for well guessing that there's no am or pm i'm gonna go but this is a 24 hour clock so 4 a.m the furious girl it's quite furious considering the fact that the glass is broken 
Okay. Got chocolate, that's all good. And there's a small piece of metal in the corner. Oh, we've got a clock hand. Hmm. Need to find. It's like the hour hand of a clock. Where have we found a clock? Because that would be handy. So, opening hour 4 o'clock. So, that's got to be a sign as to which position I need to put the clock at. Because why else would I give it to me that? So, why else would it give it to me if it didn't mean something? And my assumption is that we need to go to where a clock is within this building. Friends, I haven't got any because my name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth in this stark house with nobody to turn to, nobody to interact apart from a purple colored demon. Purple, violet only. So, okay. Because when I originally came out into this room, when the start of the game happened, I always thought that we came out of that door, but I was wrong because we came out from the door to the left from upstairs. Righty hope, so where can we find a clock in here? Uh, okay. Look around for a bit. No, we. Ah, oh, hi there! A fallen sculpture. Thank you very much for being fallen over. It doesn't mean you're going to chase me. Hi there. It was lost. Something seemed to be stuck on the other side of the keyhole. Something stuck. Aha! Uh -huh, inserted the metal wire into the keyhole. Picked up the key from underneath the door. Ah! So is it this particular key? Opened it. Okay. So good for us, but what is it good for everyone else? Hopefully we'll be able to find a clock in here or something. Or discover the origins of this piano sound. It could be something. A few pieces of paper were carelessly tied together. There were message scribbles on them. Puss in Boots. Yeah, that's the name of this chapter. They lived in an ordinary family a long, long time ago. When the father passed away, he left behind the house to his children. He left the mill to the eldest and the mole to the second oldest. The youngest was left nothing but the cat in the farm. I guess I can only skin you and take your fur to the market. The youngest had run out of money. The cat spoke hastily when it heard those words. Please don't do that. I will repay you in kind if you show me kindness and give me a pair of shoes. The youngest was curious, and so begged a pair of old boots off a passing cobbler. The cat now shoed in boots, followed the youngest to town. The town keeper refused to open the door when it started to rain at night. Crunch, 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 crunch. The, the cat and boots ate the town keeper. The youngest changed into warm clothes and spent the night in comfort. What a nice cat. The writing trailed off at the edge of the paper. What is this? Oh, the cat. Ah, howdy. Is there a cat there? Ah, you look so adorable and proud. Did you take some from me? Or did you just want to say hello? That would be very good for us. The tea was still warm. Okay, that's all well and good. Go over here. Nothing. There's a note in the photo frame. Oh, we got a note here. Let's see what it says. Um, a note with characters drawn on it. A, B, C, K. Um, color code to something. I have no idea. As, as I'm looking at it now, only K and 4 are the same colors. A is red, B is blue, C is yellow, K is black, 4 is black, 3 is orange, 2 is green, and 1 is purple. Riddles for children. Mary was an apple girl. She was going to give an apple to her hungry cat at home, but bumped into a starving mouse along the way. Although she wanted to give the apple to the cat, she couldn't let the mouse stay hungry. What should she do? Well, of course, that would be a great idea to split it in two, so that both the cat and the mouse would have something to have. She split herself into two. 
That way, both of them could eat. <laughs> I love that. And now we're back here. Okay, no deaths involved. Just restarts. And now we're going... Wait, we're going even slower now. <laughs> Our walking speed is drastically reduced. Uh, I wonder if this is an effect that happens over a period of time. Because we're now really, really slow walking. I wonder if it's something to do with damage. There's a fl oh, I, I thought there was a floating book. It was my bad. That is just a table. Um, I'm going to save in a different slot because that, this is really annoying now. That Okay, we're going to have to use one of our candies. Eat it, yes. Because we literally do need to pick up a pace. Now we're back at walking speed. So, that probably counts as a penalty every time that happens. So, we need to actually just solve the puzzle correctly. Hmm. Widows of Children. Um, uh, give it to the. Uh, give it to the mouse. The mouse ate Mary. The cat ate the mouse. You ate the cat. Everyone was full. The bottom drawer opened. There was a beautiful golden key inside, but upon further inspection, there was a thick coat of paint on the metal. Yay! So give it to the mouse so that. The, the cat eats the mouse, and then we eat the cat, so therefore everyone was full up. There's a piece of paper there, I would love to make a save, please. So, movement penalties can be redeemed with chocolate candy. The downside is, is that, like with anything, there's a limited number of them. Only one person is listening, a young and beautiful girl. Are you just thinking of a 4-4 four -four scenario? Who is that person? Who, who, who is that person? Just an old man. A piece of paper was unfolded and laid out on the book on the lower sh books on the lower shelf. Its edges were yellowed and about to tear. Oh, we got a map. This is a map for the. Oh, okay. First floor hall rather than hell. There's an eye looking at one of the places in there. I think we're currently in either the dining room. No, we're in the living room. So, the eye represents the right side of the stairway, and to close, to close. And it also represents the day as well, so... The left side of the building is at night time, the right side of the building is at daytime. The kitchen and the living room have leaves on it. The kitchen has access to the room that's in between the dining room and the living room. Uh, it, it just has the first floor. I don't know if that's the second floor or not. Golem. Golem means an unformed being or baby in Hebrew, the language of the Jews. Uh, someone puts forth the notion that power is installed in all letters, words and numbers. Mankind would be as gods and create animals and other life if they harness this power. Fine, is that another riddle of sorts? Oh, how lovely, big rubber. I would say lovely to be a lovely art itself. An empty hook. What could one put on the empty hook? No. Putting a, a fish eye on an empty hook. We'll just put an eye in general on a hook. Doesn't seem that cool. A pond could be seen from the locked window. She could see a pool from the glass of the door. Oh, so this must be on the other side of the kitchen then. That's all well and good. Because we was in the kitchen and the other side of a window was a window. And we could see over to this room. Now we can see over to the kitchen from the room we're in now. Okay. I'm still curious as to where that sound is coming from. A gold key with a thick layer of paint on it. A key that fell onto the floor labelled left blank on the first floor. Certain character there, but still nothing. And the map itself has a one on it, so that's nice. So it represents the first floor. A note with characters drawn onto it. Still doesn't help in terms of where they go. Right. Let's go over this way. See what's over here. Nothing. 
We've got matches, that's nice. More lovely matches. Over here, it's locked. The doors, they will display room. Um, let's try one with a thick layer of paint. Nope, no luck. The piano sound has gotten louder since the last time. This is the room with the piano in it. Someone seems to be mad. It was locked. Something there? There was an impression of a hoof paint print. It was daytime outside the window. It was locked. Nothing there. It was locked. The door was labeled piano room. Someone didn't like it, but we disturbed them. This seems like a bit of a dead end to us at the moment. What do we need to do? Maybe go back and explore some of the other previously locked doors to see if we can actually open them with one of the two keys. Uh, one of them was on the left side, the other one has a thick layer of something on it. Hmm. Hello, sculpture. on this door over here. There we go, opened it with a key. The more rooms we unlock, the more likely we're going to be able to solve puzzles and get more items. And discover more of the story, because so far there hasn't really been a lot of story in this particular episode. Cow of Madrid. Got matches. And got chocolate. We seem to get a lot of matches and not a huge amount of chocolate, but Whatever we get is better than not getting it in the first place. Matches! I wonder if there is a randomization encounter, so maybe it would appear there, maybe it would not. I hope not. I hope it's just a fixed position. It was locked. A sparkling exterior shines, but for a moment. Only internal beauty will endure through the ages. Read the door label. Read the door label. Read the door label and see what it presents to us. It was locked. Okay, so can we use it here? No. That must be an important key if we can't open it any room so far. Okay, go this way. We've got matches. That's all good. Hmm. Not progressing as much as I would like in terms of solving puzzles with items that we've already got. But maybe they would be some sort of benefit later on within the game. I don't know. So this room over here, yeah, had night already fallen. No, this is just the side of the room that it is. Nope, nothing there. So that must lead to outdoors simply because of the, the texture of the door itself being wooden and also the fact that the window leads to outside. That's just my assumption of it. Wait, we went here and then we spawned all the way here. Hmm. Locations which characters spawn is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that rat bit us. I didn't expect it to. A little squeak happened. Nothing in these drawers, there's nothing there. So I imagine as time. Well, the more we get bitten, the more we fail a riddle, the slower our character will walk. What the? Really? <laughs> okay, I'll go in. Ah, oh, this is the basement. Okay, okay. One area I did not know of. So that's what the eye represented. It literally represented that this was a basement. It was locked. A widely staring eye was carved on top of a keyhole. Okie dokie. Well, this really helps because now I've still got nothing to work with. A widely staring eye was carved on top of a keyhole.
But one bear discovery, and now I am completely in tatters again because the logicalness of the puzzles is as logical as the clues which are given to me, which are none. A widely staring eye was carved on top of a keyhole. Yes, please. Okay. Phew, we're finally getting somewhere. So, we put the key in that piece of water there, which was boiling hot. Then we got the key out. Okay, finally, we're making some progress. That was the one thing I didn't try. And I literally just put the key in there and hope that everything happens. Good. Okay, now we can make some progress once more by going through here and then go up here and then use the key on the door open it with a key excellent so what lays in this room now the ink spilled all over the table and all the colors mixed together it looks like the colors that we saw in that note so we've got red purple blue green yellow orange and then black surrounds everything because that literally if you apply black to any color it makes it black so that's something you could take note because black is literally all colors put together the ink spilled over the table and all the colors mixed together okie dokie it doesn't represent the color wheel in itself because i remember the color wheel quite easily just simply because i do lots of photoshop work when it comes to making thumbnails it's boring, I know. <laughs> if you know anything about Photoshop, you would know that it is just literally a mess of colors. Bedtime tales. I asked my brother to store my eyes in the glass jar because it was scary at night. There aren't any lights. Do you know me, the philosopher's stone. Valmin Medicium Paramenium. Mystical union. I don't know complicated words. The interpretation of dreams of person's mind will simply create new faces we have met previously or those we've seen in dreams, but may have simply forgotten them. Japan overdue immortal forms were prisoners of the walls of Lilas. Matches, that's all good. How did we start the game again? Um, when I originally opened up a game, I just literally conflicted with so many rats that you just had to restart the game because you used up too many materials. That's literally the primary purpose is to counteract the mess that rats make. No piece of paper was spread out, it seemed to be the map. Oh, map of second floor, excellent. Right, second floor is my room, event gallery, event Margaret's room, the gallery as well doesn't really seem to help much, it just seems to outline what we've already done. B plus C, B plus K, A plus K, A plus B. Combination of numbers, but they also go with these very well. So, let me just write these down real quick and I'll be right back. The power of sticky notes is always awesome. So now that we've got that combination down, now if we access a safe of some sort, we now know what to do. Good. So we've got the combination and we've got what each figure stands for. That's all good. 
Uh, so what we need to do now is to keep going along here. Oh, we found a note here. It's all good. Youngest fell in love with a prince wobbling outside the window, but the town castle doors were locked and guarded by a monster. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here, kitty cat? Can I help you in some ways? Guarded by a monster. Hey, what do you want, kitty cat? Ah, oh, a clock here. There's no point. <gasps> Put the pointer on the clock. Yes. And point it to four o'clock. Turning our hand to four o'clock. Most certainly that would be very, very good. Thank you very much. Now we can go in that room which was guarded by a four o'clock hand. So my moaning and all that earlier was, was silly. Because now I... Okay. It followed her. He seems to scare off the mouse. Mice. Ah. Goody, good, good, good. So all I need earlier was simply because of one key. Having this cat with us is very useful because it means those ma mice don't try and bite us, which is an extremely good tool to have with us. Okay, it wasn't this room, was it now? It was another room. No, nope, not this room either. I think there's a room upstairs. Uh, I'd love to think so, otherwise... Yep, go away, mice. You're not welcome in my... Who's there? The hole suddenly flipped open. It was a child's voice. Someone is... Running footsteps sounded behind her door before she could finish. The door was still locked. Is anyone there? Elizabeth called out. The door swiftly cracked open, revealing nothing but darkness. Who's there? That's what I want to ask. Despite thinking that, Elizabeth still responded. I'm Elizabeth, excuse me. Huh? Who's that? Who is it? Two of voices that sounded exactly the same rang out. She said, I came in here by accident. Do you? Weird people can't come in. Who is it? Can't come in. Another voice chimed in. We're having a very important party. Party. Weird people can't come in. You have to have manners. Do you want to come in? Why don't you look at yourself in the mirror first? Margarita was always dressed nicely. Huh? Do you want to see her? Then let her in. No, we can't. You can't wear that thing to a party. Eh. At least change out that ugly dress. A small smuttering of footsteps. I wish this classical theme would go away. There you go. Oh, we're outside, okay. Big wolf. Who's the wolf? Is it you? Or is it somebody else? In the picture, the Holy Mary was holding a baby who only had a body and no head. Who there, not there? No book that was bound exquisitely with care 25th of October grounded today maybe grounded all winter mother is very angry Sabelle comes every day it's not necessary but it seems that brother asked Sabelle to do this nothing on the 29th nothing 30th 31st it started snowing rather early this year keep snowing and just bury this place November Successfully vented outside, heart still pounding, but need to clear off the snow by the window first and hide the clothes worn outside. I slipped out f through the hole in the fence this dawn. The streets were already white, completely different from how they were last month. Frost covered everything, and every snowflake hummed a happy song. Heinrich is waiting for me by the window. Hmm. This is... Whose diary? Marguerite's. The voice behind her had come out of nowhere. The black cat was faster to react and vanish with a soft hmm. It took a while for the word to register as Elizabeth was so easy, busy escaping from those white locks. Marguerite? Uh, mother's? Elizabeth looks absent at it. Why are you looking at me right away? I'm not the one going through people's diaries. 
The demon lips curled, biling its innocent tone. My mother lived here, Elizabeth asked. Oh, she was your mother? The demon passed around her slowly, staring at her fixedly like a reptile. What do you think? This room is pretty nice, right? Your room is on the other side. It's also very pretty. Why don't you just stay and live here? The coyly voice filled her ears, and then just suddenly faded. Wonderful, but I'd prefer to have that cat around. You know, it scares away those mice and enables me to not be bitten. A thin, exquisite volume was placed in the crack. The colour of the book's jacket was the same as the diary on the table. The pages showed more wear and mainly had fallen out. Okay, this is part of the other di of the diary we just read. Uh, Sibel gave me a letter from my brother. 5th of November. The snow had piled up outside the window. The imps passed by the window but ran away when they saw me. November the 6th. I can't play the piano properly anymore. The sounds all form the same melody. But everyone keeps encouraging me to continue. I get scolded if I miss even one day. They say this helps me because I talk more often now. And sometimes I even smile when it's sunny. But I know that isn't the case. It's Heinrich's voice calling me out in the sunlight. It's his voice singing an ode to the flowers instead of the piano. Melody plays in my head whenever I think of him. Marguerite. November the 7th. November the 8th. We met in the night. This must be a gift from God. Even now my heart feels as if a spark had been set to long dried out kindling. What if I burned up? It seems as if I've seen his face in my dreams a long, long time ago, even though we've only seen each other a few times. I can still feel the weight of his eyes on me even when I close my eyes. But he said he can take me away from here. But as long as I have you, I don't care where I am. November 9th, November 10th. Okay, that's the piece there. A key with a wooden handle was stuck at the, to the bottom of a book jacket. Wooden handle key. Oh, very good and well. Let's proceed on also for just a little bit longer. See what's left in this room. See if there are any candies. See if there's anything. Oh, we got a bed here. That's all nice. We can jump on the bed in case we get ill. A reflection on my face and a stern expression. A cabinet made from red wood so it was locked. Well, since it has wood on it, let's just use... Open it with a key. That's rather simple. Ah, oh, oh, we could wear that dress. Formal dress. Yeah, some items can be worn after a taming room. Only one can be worn at a time. We get... Oh, sheesh. Wait a minute. Why the hell was all that in Japanese? Hmm. Seems a bit weird. I pressed F1 by accident and Japanese suddenly turned up. Okay, a beautiful formal dress. Change it to the dress? Most certainly. Ah, now we're in a pretty little dress. Hopefully we'll be able to... Okay, change back to the original dress. No, nope, we'll stick with this dress on for now. And also we've got twin tails now. A piece of paper on the ground. Paper... Oh, paper fragment. And here is an exquisitely bound book. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Sorry about that. Ah, 11th of November. Mother is angry. She should have forbade me to see him. Why? Her eyes were as cold as the north wind, and she didn't say a word. Why, why, why? November 12th. The window has been locked from the outside. The imps run around inside because they can't get out. Someone opened the door when I was playing the piano, but no one was there when I turned back. I ran away from the piano in terror. I would never touch it again. November 14th. It had stopped snowing for a month. Heavy snow drifts have accumulated on the window. Okay. And the pans are f panes are freezing. The imps create a ru ruckus in the house when night falls. November 15th. Number 16th. I don't want to write anymore, but Mother says keeps a diary, keeping a diary is good. Why? Sprout is. Number 20th. This is my home. It's on a hill facing the sun. 
They built a large greenhouse next to the house and filled it with green, uh, red, red, green cosmos flowers that bloom every op so every October. I'm saying every autumn. But again, saying that now, that's not entirely inaccurate. It's a pity they're stuck in a flower bed. Would it be nice if they were free to form a sea of flowers on a grassy plain? But surely they're dead by now. The wind and snow are so big and the sun can't be seen. Wow. November the 21st. This is my home. It's on the hill facing the sun. There's a large... Wait. That was the same as the last thing. On a hill. October pruned. Can't see the sun. Must all be dead. Can't see the sun. The sun. The sun. The sun. Imps ran into the kitchen. There's broken plates all over the floor. In the kitchen. What were the imps all about? Dearly meep. Dearly meep. Lovely, lovely old books. Hmm, nothing in there anymore. Okay, so... We'll have another gander at this game in the next time, because I believe we've done plenty today. Especially after these dissolving the paint from the key so we can actually use it so it wasn't too big to fit in the keyhole in itself. So thank you very much for watching folks and we shall see each other in the next time of False Alf Tram. False Alf Time actually, sorry. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.